Okay. We're going to ask this question another time. I'm going to keep, and you should ask this question until we get an answer. I want to know. <laughs> really, I want to know a channel, a ministry on social media we call Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry, Angel Snub Nub 7, since 2000, let's say 2000 and, yeah, since 2008. Early 2009. This is what they say. We don't get any views, 10 views average. Nobody's listening to us. Nobody cares what we're talking about. This is what they tell us. This is what they say. But for some reason, since 2000, early 2009, 2008 there has been an activity of slandering our name flagging our videos terminating our channel why would you if see it's illogical if nobody is listening to me if the only thing i get is 10 views. I only have 10 subscribers. Well, 11. 11 subscribers now. Why is it important for these people to flag our channel? Even to the point Google, the corporation, is involved. Find any reason to terminate any, anything. Facebook constant harassment and of course individuals every time now they say nobody listens to angel snub nub 7 but see that's that's not that's not real that's not accurate because there was a time When Angel Snub Nub 7 was getting 300, at least 300 subscribers a month. That's what I was getting, 300 subscribers a month. So, there's an audience. There are people who are willing and, and wish to, and they will listen to Angel Snub Nub 7. But there are those, Google, Facebook certain individuals, groups, they do not want this message to be heard. Why is that? I, see, it's, it's my but I notice when I talk, and I could say the same thing as many, as many other people might say, but it seems as though when I talk, it really hurt these people's feelings. They go, they go bonkers. I always feel like somebody's watching me was a song by Rockwell, Barry Gordy, son. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Somebody watching us. Why do you need to watch a channel that has 10 subscribers? Nobody listened to. I hurt their feelings. You can't debate me. That's a losing battle. And that's what's hurting is because I stand on reality. I can say I don't know. I can say I made a mistake. I can, I can do those things. And you don't know where I'm coming from. We stand upon reality here. And reality is always going to be the winner 
over fantasy and fiction. It's time that we leave fantasy and fiction alone. These things are done. Alcohol, sex, religion, sports and play. These things, television, music, all these things are used to keep the people stupid. That's what they are used for, to keep us dumb, deaf, and blind. Not black people, all people, deaf, dumb, and blind. I am doing the job, we are doing the job that religion claims it does. We are the ones who are actually raising the, the mentally dead to life. We are the ones who are, are turning the children back to their father and their father needs to turn back to his human self instead of this savage, civilized, so-called civilized Beast, a civilized savage. We ought to bring the hearts of humanity back to reality and break this, this demon mindset given to us from illiterate ancient people who were, they, they didn't know what they was doing. They just made up stories because they didn't, they were afraid of death. They they didn't have any kind of real science. They were just making stuff up. And we bring this stuff into 2023. It's, it's over. You're not going to be a child of God anymore. It is time for us to grow up and be a God. And God don't pray to God. God is a God in their own right. Just like when you become an adult, you are a parent in your own right, even though you still respect and love your mother and your father. There's no difference. What makes Angel Snup Nup 7 a threat? I'm a threat to those who are oppressors, those who oppress women, those who abuse children, those who abuse and exploit this planet. I'm, I'm a threat. My mindset is a threat because I understand that you want to go to the moon. I understand that you want to go to Mars and Jupiter and Pluto or whatever. But I understand at this moment in time, there's only one real mother. There's only one real life giver. And that is the planet that we were born upon. And this destruction, this abuse of the earth, this exploitation, Adam has failed. Those of us who believe those of you who believe in the story of Adam, where God was given Adam dominion over this planet, Adam has failed. Adam has done a poor, pitiful job of taking care of this planet, managing this planet for God. So what we want to do and what makes us a threat, there are those who actually benefit from the destruction of this planet. There are those who benefit from the exploitation the deceit and the deception of human beings. There are those who benefit from telling lies and outrageous lies and giving people false hopes and dreams. We are a threat. It is a lie. Why are you watching me? Every time the uh, numbers start to increase on this channel, that's when the flagging start. Even on Facebook, when people start giving me attention and they start interacting with my posts and start coming to my platform. Here come Facebook, suspending the, the uh, channel and YouTube. We are the threat, not the Nation of Islam, not the Jehovah Witness of the Moor Science Temple or the Hebrew Israelites. Those of us who are bringing realism, reality to the human being, we are the threat because it makes no sense. Why would you mess with somebody that only gets 10 subscribers and 10 views? It's not It's not logical. Why would you go through? Why would corporations get involved with messing with a nobody? It goes to show us how much of a somebody we really are. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. This was and is. I'm the mighty one, Angel Snubman of Seven, Reality's Temple on Earth. And so 